Hi, and welcome to this new Construct 3 demonstration where I'll show you how to uh, create a little demo where I will be dragging this uh, blue box around and I will be showing you how to prevent the blue box from overlapping the red box and it nicely snaps to the left, the top, the right or the bottom of the red box. Um, so, how do we do that? Of course, there are two boxes, uh, a blue box and a red box, and they both got the drag drop behavior here, so we can drag them around. Um, and in the event sheet, we have uh, from the blue uh, sprite, which we are dragging, of course, we have the it's dragging event, which happens while we are dragging this thing around. And we have the on drag drop, which happens when we effectively drop the sprite somewhere. So in both cases, we need to do some logic, and therefore it is um, encapsulated in a function called uh, limit drag. And this limit drag function is called from both this event where we are dragging and the drop event where we are dropping the blue box on the canvas. Um, now, what does it do, this uh, on function limit drag? Well, we've got a little local variable here, um, which we're going to set when we're detecting that the blue box is overlapping the red box. So we've set it to an angle, and for that purpose, uh, there is a function or a built-in system function called angle, which we pass four parameters, the x and y value of a certain point on the layout and the x and, value of, x and y value of another point on the layout and we get the angle between those two points. Now, um, the first coordinate is of course the x and y coordinate of the red sprite and the other one is the x and y coordinate of the blue sprite. So we effectively get uh, the angle between the red and the blue sprite all the time while we're dragging and also when we're cropping. And depending on what that number is, this local variable, we're going to do one of four things. If it's between uh, 45 degrees uh, of zero, we're going to here see uh, that the angle in degrees is A is within 45 degrees to angle zero, or it is within 45 degrees of the angle 90, or within 45 degrees of 180 and within 45 degrees of 270. It's actually just detecting what side of the red sprite we are on. That's what it does. So if we're within uh, 45 degrees of uh, zero, we're just going to set it to the bonding box right of the red sprite plus its width divided by two. So why divided by two, of course, uh, because if you go and double click it and we go to the points and we see the origin point is nicely smack in the middle so that is the width divided by 2 it's exactly there so that's why we came to do that so the order of operations in the mathematical expression is it will first evaluate that so it will take its width divided by 2 and then add it to the bounding box right of the red sprite so this is the bounding box right of the red sprite, and then it will have half of its size of the blue box size. So it's just this distance. And so this point plus this distance gives a situation where it's going to pop right there. So uh, the same thing happens here for the bottom, which we just do the bottom the bounding box bottom plus south dot height divided by two. Bounding blocks left minus width divided by two and bounding box top minus height divided by two. So that's how the snapping works. So it actually does this function all of the time while we're dragging. So it's always relocating the, the blue sprite. Even though I'm dragging it around, it's going to re uh, relocate the the the, uh, the x and y coordinates of the blue sprite. So that's it. I uh, hope you learned something. As always, please like and subscribe, and I will leave a link in the description where you can get this template. See you next time.